Uh, first, it is uh, an immense pleasure and honor uh, that I warmly welcome you all to this important and special event for the technical launch of K. Dr. Tip for Garissa County. From the onset, uh, let me, on my own behalf, and that of His Excellency Ambassador Ale Korane, extend uh, gratitude to, all, to you all, particularly our distinguished guest, for finding time uh, to be with us here today. Welcome, Garissa. Welcome, Garissa Tao. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, Garissa County, have proudly been hosting this for over 25 years. But this has not been without so much unintended consequences ranging from wanton environmental degradation and social economic disruptions. What we have seen is that because of this kind of environmental degradation, our animals are today in Kitui, they are in Tana River, some in Somalia, some in Meru, and actually our it, our people have even moved to those areas. So it's a lot, giving us a lot of impact. This effect spread across the seven sub-counties uh, of uh, Ijara, Oluko, Nadab, Nagdera, Palambala, Fafi, and Garza Township. Uh, but more pronounced in Nadab, Fafi, and Nagdera, that at one time, had a combined refugee population of over 600,000 uh, that were kept across five camps, namely Hagardere, Dagale, Ifo 1, Ifo 2, and Kambia Os. The refugees are predominantly from the ethnic Somalis uh, and also some that fled from South Sudan, Ethiopia, Eritrea and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Following the Trapatite Agreement signed by Somalia, Kenya, and UNHCR in 2013 that seek for voluntary repatriation of refugees uh, back to Somalia, the population now stands at 2,000, I mean, sorry, 276,269 refugees within the Adab complex. And sometimes uh, there are some influxes still, new arrivals owing to an ever mutating conflict in Somalia. Ladies and gentlemen, hosting refugees for such a long time in a fragile, arid, and semi arid uh, area such as ours in Garissa County has also led to an increased competition for our basic social service in our already mega amenities depleted resources, uh, source of energy, and deeper underground water levels. It's worth noting uh, that competition over mere livelihood, opportunities, and dwindling resources is a known driver of latent and potential conflicts between host communities and refugees. However, informal economic activities and remittance uh, argument the purchasing power of refugees and the camps are a major market for livestock and agricultural produce of our host communities. Ladies and gentlemen, this project will not have come a better time than now, when we are facing the greatest need to mitigate and assert the communities from the adverse effects of immunity uh, from the protracted presence of refugees. Let there be a community-driven approach. And I think that is the sentiment here, where every leader who has been here actually uh, say that there be a community-driven uh, uh, development approach in the planning, implementation, and monitoring of these of the projects. It will only, uh, after we involve the communities in the lowest unit of the county government, uh, of the county, uh, which is the village level, through a devolved uh, management of resources and decision-making that 
we can achieve the desired results. There is also the need to fulfill, I mean, to, there is also the need to have a full understanding of community dynamics. If we achieve the project objective of improved access of, to basic services, expanding economic opportunities and enhance the restoration and management of resources by the host communities. Actually, uh, the community dynamics, understanding the community dynamics is very important. What we have seen is that most of the uh, project heads, maybe even the departments, may not be people who may be of understanding of the dynamics of the communities they want to deal with. So that might pose a challenge to the implementation of this project. So we expect, actually, uh, uh, more people to get involved, those who understand the dynamics of the community they are dealing with. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important to note that there were concerns raised by the county government of Garissa, Turkana, and Wajia on the general design and the implementation arrangements of K of the deep projects that did not fully appreciate the capacity of our devolved government to implement the projects successfully with a national implementation unit playing a supervisory role only. You know what we are seeing now is that the national government is in the forefront. The counties are in the back seat. What you can see even the, you know, even the organization of this technical knowledge, mainly the county government was in the back. You know, I was asking our account secretary, are you aware of this? And he was telling me no. So, then we have organized even uh, for this meeting. And uh, for your information, uh, Dr. Tahir, for this, for the today and tomorrow meeting, I'm aware the budget is about over 5 million shillings is about 5.5 million chains. So, the more need to have, not to waste time in boardrooms, that we need to move out. Uh, the current implement implementation arrangement are more of top-down than bottom-top approach recommended for community driven development. We want development to be initiated from bottom up, not the other way around. We are conscious that uh, the issues raised by the county governments are incorporated in the project participation agreement, the so-called the MOU between the national government and the county government currently with the attorney general for adoption before we ascend to this. I think we have given our comments on that MOU. We want it first start. We want to see it before uh, actually it's adopted for, for both levels of government. It is our expectation that the county government, as implementing entities of K of the deep projects, will be supported by partners. Our devolved government is committed to ensure that it is specialized human resources are engaged in the implementation process for maximum benefit uh, to the affected communities. Ladies and gentlemen, K Dr. D project is expected to benefit a target population of 464,341 host communities in Fafi, Lagbera, and the dark sub-counties of Garza County. The target beneficiaries are expected to participate in the process of identifying, prioritizing their development needs by providing social service to host communities in these areas that have previously been marginalized. The project will enhance the quality of service uh, and bring the areas at par with other parts of the county and the country. Uh, I think the sentiment that has been shared today here is that the community feels, the community we represent, feels 
they are not involved in the decision making of these projects. I think that is the bottom line. From the top, headed by the His Excellency the Governor, to the members of Parliament, to the County Assembly of Garissa. So the onus is on the national uh, uh, coordinating team to reverse that perception. Right? I think uh, myself had discussions with uh, Dr. Han while we are in India and we have shared our concerns. She is uh, actually good hearted and she means well for this project. So, Dr. Ann, please, we need to have further engagement on how this kind of perception can be reversed so that we have an all inclusive uh, discussion.